Now look, if we're going to believe the leakers about the Switch 2 console delay to 2025, then we got to believe them about other stuff as well, right? Like that's only fair. So when the initial leaker from the Switch 2 delay leak posts new information about what Nintendo's plans are for the next four months, we got to take a deep look at it. And actually, as crazy as it sounds, it makes a lot of historical sense. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. I've got my thinking robe on, all right? We're going to really take this one through the paces because the leaker Brazil, a journalist from Brazil who first stated the stuff about the Switch 2 being delayed and then was corroborated and backed up by VGC and Eurogamer and Bloomberg and more, he's come through with a new post. Here's what I've heard post Friday. Direct in April, general or mini, don't know, indie world before that, probably March. June for Switch 2 reveal. Everything in flux always, but I'm feeling good, so eh. Feeling good, probably on the high of being right about the Switch 2 delay, as corroborated by all those other sources, but this sets up a very interesting schedule, and one that deviates from the traditional norm in the Nintendo Switch era. A Direct in April feels odd, a June Switch 2 reveal actually makes a ton of sense, but it does sort of kick out the typical June Direct. So here is how things lay out for the year then, right? We have our partner showcase tomorrow, which should indicate a good chunk of third-party games and some Microsoft stuff as well. An Indie World predicted for March, like that makes sense, there usually is an Indie World early in the year. March is a very usual timetable for that. But a new Direct, whether a general or a mini, but focused on first-party announcements in April, is brilliant, but kind of bizarre. Here's the first point. One, we have Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and Luigi's Mansion 2 that are kind of lingering out there. They won't show up at the Partner Showcase tomorrow, but they could show up at this April Direct. They also could show up on Twitter before an April Direct. It depends on when they release. If Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion are, say, June and July, well, then they can reveal them their release dates in an April Direct. But if either of the games are to come out in late April or May, then I think they have to post about them before this rumored Direct date. In which case, the April Direct could be the big Direct for the year. It could be the one that sets the stage. And now, get this, come April, we may know just about everything for 2024 Nintendo Switch. We'll have the Partner Showcase highlighting third parties, the Indie World highlighting Indies, We'll have a Pokemon Presents giving us whatever TPC is going to grace the Switch with. And then an April Direct could be the first party brouhaha, because if Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion are not included, they're going to have to give us the games for like June, July, August, September, October. And then Pokemon will probably be November. That is where they would tease something like Donkey Kong for the holiday season. That's where they would reveal something like Fire Emblem 4 Remake, or Wind Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are finally coming to Switch. But you might think an April Direct is not very believable, yet Nintendo has used this time frame years ago. Many years ago, back when Nintendo Directs first started in 2012, some of Nintendo's earliest Directs took place in April, although they weren't featured in North America. These were Wii and 3DS Directs, so we're going way back in the calendar. But they continued to use April in 2013 for some Nintendo Direct Minis in Japan, and again in 2014 for Tomodachi Life, Mario Kart 8, and a Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS presentation. Now those in 2014 were featured in North America, and this would start a trend of using April as a big reveal month. Nintendo continued in 2015 with a Wii U and 3DS Direct, alongside a Xenoblade Chronicles X Direct, all taking place in April in North America. And then again in 2017, they had a big Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS Direct shortly after the launch with a focus on ARMS and Splatoon 2 to help hype two games that were coming just outside the launch window of Nintendo Switch 1. But since that shortly after launch Direct, Nintendo has not used April for anything. Well, that's not true. They used it for a Smash Bros. DLC content briefing, but that wasn't even really labeled as a direct. Other than that, April has been a blank month for major announcements. Indie World has taken place in March and April, but I'm talking about Nintendo Directs, right? They have not used the April slot for seven years. So bringing back the April slot seems very crazy, but at the same time, it would fit their timetable for the year. And the reason is because, hey, they did not have a February Direct, things were not ready, 
And maybe it's just because they had this unexpected delay. Perhaps the plan was to be something different, a different schedule, yet I question that because this clearly was always to be a partner showcase. Microsoft is clearly to be the lead in this partner showcase. I think we'll find that out tomorrow. And given how many third-party games they have to take up 25 minutes, really doesn't seem room for a whole lot of other Nintendo first-party stuff to convert it into a traditional mini. Therefore, maybe this was the plan all along, and a June reveal for Nintendo Switch 2 was what they had in mind. I guess the alternative would be that they had a partner showcase in February, a reveal in March, and then a Nintendo Direct in April, so maybe this isn't about face, but I wonder if it's always been this way. An April Direct leads perfectly into a June Switch 2 reveal because it allows Nintendo to emphasize the current year lineup first, and that is most important in my eyes. As soon as you go with the Switch 2 marketing, you're going to start detracting from the current lineup. But if the current lineup is already known, man, you're going to have people jazzed for Switch 1 and feeling like they have to get in on the games coming to Switch 1 in 2024 before they even think about putting pre-order dollars down on a Switch 2. Plus, given a June reveal, that's like the big E3 time frame, and I know there's not E3, but there's still Summer Games Fest, and it looks like IGN is trying to throw some sort of mini-con together, so June is a good time. The question becomes, is that June reveal where we'll see a bunch of games? Will they have cross-gen titles? Will there be anything else for Nintendo Switch 1? I do feel like to make marketing make sense and to keep things completely separate, when they reveal Switch 2, they will keep it just Switch 2 stuff. I can't really see June being a time to have Switch 2 games and Switch 1 games. I think that gets a bit confusing. Although I do wonder if April is enough. I guess it depends how much they have for Switch 1 this year. They could theoretically reveal everything in April, in which case April should be an absolute banger of a Nintendo Direct. That means they would use April for Switch 1, June for Switch 2, and probably go again sometime in September and October to really get the pre-order train going for Nintendo Switch 2, and that would make April our last Switch 1 dedicated Direct. Now, some people have hypothesized that Nintendo is sort of changing up Nintendo Directs, and the first piece of evidence is that this is just a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase tomorrow, where every past Partner Showcase has been a Nintendo Direct Mini. Some others have noted that the way that they, like, announced it and the image is a bit different and they're sort of changing things up slightly so i could definitely see nintendo reworking some things going forward i think reinvigorating the presentation style is not a bad idea i do love nintendo directs and i love the precedent they've established with how they go the hosts and all the graphics but maybe it is time for a new piece of flair maybe it's time to give some pizzazz to the nintendo direct and up the ante up the stakes and create an even more exciting presentation for us to look forward to but brazil's plan of a march indie world an april nintendo direct and a june switch 2 reveal really just makes the first half of the year insanely full of announcements that's partner showcase pokemon presents indie world general direct and a freaking console reveal all nearly back to back to back to back on top of whatever games they have already announced and games that are yet to be announced and or shadow dropped. This would make 2024 pretty darn awesome, unless they drop the ball and don't really announce anything for the second half in terms of Switch 1 releases, but I can't see that happening. If Nintendo intends to utilize this holiday season once again for Switch 1, they will have games for you to play, and they will have things ready to go, and they will have things to sell you. And so I think that's why they would have an early year direct to set the stage, because we basically know the first half of the year lineup. There isn't room for much more than Princess Peach Showtime, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Anything announced in an April direct is going to be for the second half of 2024, and they don't have a direct unless they have games to reveal. So I love this plan. I think it's very exciting. I think it's best case scenario after finding out that the Switch 2 probably will not be coming anytime soon and probably will not be revealed in March. And this sort of deconfirms the March timeframe as the big reveal month for Switch 2, even a tease, even a tweet, even something. I could see them just doing a tiny tweet saying like, we're working on new hardware just to get investors excited and just to set the stage because they did a similar thing when the Switch was called NX back in March of 2016. They said like, good news, we're working on the next generation of Nintendo hardware. It's called the NX and it'll be out sometime next year. They could do the same thing and that doesn't really reveal anything, tell us anything or do much except move the needle on the stock prices that have fallen after the delay rumors slash leaks. Now, the alternative is they don't do April. They don't do a June reveal. 
They reveal the Switch 2 whenever they want, but instead do a June Switch 1 Direct. That would line up more with the past history of this generation's Nintendo Directs, but that means that they don't have first-party stuff all throughout March, April, May. And that's three months where you could definitely lay the groundwork for the rest of 2024 and ensure the audience and the shareholders that this year is still going to be good, profitable, and fun. If they do not follow this plan that Brazil believes they're following, that means that they are leaving a large gap in the calendar, in which case they'd have to go with Twitter reveals and Twitter post releases. That's not the end of the world. They've done it before and they could do it again, but I do think it makes more sense for them to at least lay the groundwork. Remember, there hasn't been a first party direct since September and going September to June is nine months without any major first party announcements. I understand they have a delay in there for the console and that definitely shifts things around, but I also think it shifts around their plans and maybe they do bump up a direct from June to April in order to get things going and make sure that the install base isn't getting too antsy. But let me know what you think of this calendar plan. And an April Direct actually sounds freaking great after a late February partner showcase, a Pokemon Presents, and most likely an Indie World. Like we are eating good all of a sudden once again and Nintendo has a plan and I am so freaking glad. So let me know what you think. Again, treat this as a rumor, but Brazil, he was right about the Switch 2 delay stuff. So it seems like he has a good source and good knowledge, at least in terms of Nintendo's immediate plans. And April is pretty soon. So I am buying into it. Let me know your take in the comments down below. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, everybody, thanks again for watching. Switch Force, out.